You've set up the Stable Diffusion Web UI on your Mac and now you're deciding on which model to use. For beginners, I suggest starting with a version 1 model. But what does that entail? What are the different model versions? And which one suits specific use cases? In this video, we'll cover all these topics. When picking a model, consider factors like version, size, style and any additional installation steps. The first factor is the model version. The three main versions of Stable Diffusion are version 1, version 2 and Stable Diffusion XL, also known as SDXL. Version 1 models are the first generation of Stable Diffusion models and they are 1.4 and the most renowned one, version 1.5 from Runway ML, which stands out as the best and most popular choice among the first generation models. Version 2 models consist of 2.0 and 2.1, with 2.1 notably representing a significant improvement over 2.0, particularly in its handling of negative prompts. SDXL are the newest generation of stable diffusion models. They are larger and more powerful, but also slower and more resource intensive. The model size impacts both the speed and image quality. Also, since you must download the models locally, it will take up space on your Mac. Larger models generally yield higher quality images but are slower and demand more memory and storage. Smaller models are quicker and resource efficient but might have lower resolution or more noise in the generated images. You can find a model's size indicated on the website where you download it. For example, if you visit Hugging Face, to download the Stable Diffusion V1.5 model, you'll notice two available files one at 427 GB and another at 7.7 GB. I'd like to clarify something before we dive into model styles. Up until now I've mentioned stable diffusion base models, specifically Generation 1, Generation 2 and SDXL. Generation 1 models were created through collaboration between researchers, from the Comvis group at Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich and Runway. They were trained with computational resources provided by Stability AI and data from non-profit organizations. Stability AI later developed Generation 2 models and SDXL. Now, based on these three generations, Anyone can fine-tune the base model by training it on specific images or styles. These fine-tuned models essentially stem from the base models and this is where different styles come into play. These models exhibit various styles and characteristics that influence how the generated images appear. Some models lean towards realism while others embrace artistry or abstraction. Certain models are versatile, while others are specialized for particular domains or themes. You can judge a model style by reviewing examples or reading its description. In fact, most models are still based on Stable Diffusion 1.5. For example, Realistic Vision V5.1, which produces very realistic portraits of people, or anything V3, which specializes in anime images. A model's specialization in a specific type of images doesn't mean you can't use it for other types of images. It simply means it produces the best results for the type of images it was fine-tuned on. Depending on your choice of model, there might be some extra steps involved in using it. Generation 1 models are the simplest to employ with Stable Diffusion Web UI from Automatic 1111. You download these models and place them in a dedicated model folder, refresh the UI and you're ready to start generating images. When I mention file, I'm referring to a checkpoint or safe tenses file. Generation 2 models require more steps. 
For example, the base model Stable Diffusion 2.1 requires downloading a configuration file, renaming it to match the checkpoint file's name, and putting both files in the model folder for Stable Diffusion Web UI. As for SDXL, it becomes even more complex. So far, I have not been able to run SDXL locally on my Mac without issues, especially since I only have 8 GB of RAM. I have been running it on Google Colab instead. There are two excellent websites for downloading Stable Diffusion models. I'd say that, in general, Hugging Face is the top choice for getting the base models while Civit AI is the go-to platform for derived or fine-tuned models. You might assume that opting for newer stable diffusion versions is the way to go. However, taking into account all the factors we've talked about, my suggestion for beginners is to start with stable diffusion base model version 1.5 or its derivatives. These models are the simplest to get started with offering a quick and hassle-free setup, relatively small size and they produce excellent images. As you gain more experience, you can then consider transitioning to version 2 or SDXL. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.